And I want to talk about a bit away from the sport and what you're like uh, away from, yeah, high jumping. So what what are your hobbies and your passions away from yeah. this, this sport? Um, it's pretty varied, actually. I um, <laughs> It's been a little, like, yeah, in the past, uh, it's been a little too. Mm. Um, even though I'm not a DJ. Mm. Some people have called me DJ Ooh. Bados. But, there we uh, go. I'm not a DJ. You're not. not a DJ. No, clearly not. But uh, I do <laughs> lo- I love my, I love my music. Yep. Um, love listening to music. Yep. Um, I kind of share that with my wife as well, which yep. is awesome. But um, do you do you play or just listen? Kind yeah, of yeah, play. I like play. I like to play a bit of um, piano, guitar, yep. um, and yeah, I do a bit of music production as well in my spare time when I can so find some time for it. If so. I gave you one song to put on Spotify, what would it be right now? Oh. Put you on the spot. Um, <laughs> what, what genre? Have I been listening to what genre? I like, it's, 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 it's pretty the wide. Same, I am the same. It's pretty wide. I like. Yeah, I like some pop, like EDM. Yep. I like yep. rock, I like yep. yeah, some indie stuff. Yeah, some metal. Yeah. Um, I think I've been recently listening to uh, Zed's new album right. that's come out, which is a bit of a weird mix, a bit yeah. of a hybrid, and he's got like John Mayer on some of the tracks, and it's kind of cool. Yeah, but it's good. We're listening to a bit of that, but yeah, so a little bit of music production. Um. What else do I get up to? Currently doing a bit of gardening. Yes. Uh, as I mentioned just yes. before. Got to love well. gardening. Food yeah, out of the yeah. garden, so much better. Yeah, I want to get some tomatoes going. For sure. Um, I'm also a little bit of a nerd in some sense. Like, I'm, I'm interested in philosophy, mm. um, religion, mm. philo- uh, theology, mm. and that type of stuff. So, I like listening to pretty obscure and reading obscure things sure. um, relating to yeah, religion and God and yeah. stuff like that too, and faith. So, yeah, um, yeah that kind of keeps me occupied yeah. and spend, spending time with my brothers. Um, and and it gets, else? gets your mind off the, the high jumping, which is good. good yeah, have a definitely. Bit of balance. You, you definitely. talked about basketball. Yeah, and I yeah, don't know yeah. where you were going, but before uh-huh. before the podcast, yeah, um, yeah, you talked about basketball and how there's something going on there. So just give us an update of whatever you were going to say, if you remember. Yeah, 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 stories. Or- yeah. So uh, I have a history with basketball. Mm. I, I love it. I used to play madly um, yep. in early high school, but as that was kind of intersecting with my high jump yep. and my high jump career. Um, it came to a bit of a breaking point and that the nexus of that was um, when I had made, I qualified for the World Youth Championships, which was in Ukraine actually back in, I think, 2011. And we were heading off to a pre-departure camp, um, which is kind of like a little camp that we do before we head off um, to go to go over there. Yep, so, yep. that was held in uh, Brisbane. And we had just arrived and we had some free time straight away. So, we found a basketball court and we head down there and um, I was with two other two other athletes yep. and they kind of egged me egged me on to go and dunk. And okay. I, was, I was just... I was well, getting you to that age where... Yeah, I could with a, a regular sized ring. I always say this as a disclaimer just to say <laughs> I, I can I can dunk. <laughs> can dunk. Um, I mean, if you jump 233. But it was a higher ring. And yeah, sure enough, they egged me. So, I went and tried to dunk. And it was higher than usual. So, yeah. I hung on to the ring. Yep. My momentum pushed me forward. Then I dropped and fell back. And I broke both my wrists at the same time. What? And so... I was in the hospital. Uh, my coach has a whole bunch of funny, funny videos and photos of me like drugged oh. up and <laughs> with both hands in a cast. Um, I think I was called X Men for a X- while yeah. because I was in a double cast. Um, <laughs> so this is it's yeah, it's well known in the athletic circles. Yeah. This this event. Um, so I missed that event. Um, and ever since then, uh, my coach has been pretty adamant that... Do not dunk again. I do not dunk. I do not play basketball. No. Um, I still kind of have dunked, except I just make sure I drop yeah. the ball over the top Rather instead of than making any contact correct. with the ring. Yeah. Can't afford any more of those. But I still love basketball. I'll, yeah. I'll get back into it after. Do you I follow it or just play it? I don't follow, but no, uh, I, lo- I love to play. Yeah, it's I a love- good sport. It's I do miss sport. my team sports. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so obviously life after high jumping, I don't know if you've had a thought about this or mm. whatever, but you said you were coaching young kids or, you know, coaching yeah. in that. Is that something yep. you want to aspire to do in the future or? Yeah, I'll, con- I'll continue, um, with the high jump coaching. It's yep. something on the side. I'm not sure at the moment yep. where exactly it will develop, but, um, I've got a bunch of things alongside the high jump too. Mm. I'm currently studying cyber security. So right. I'm going to get into that. Um, and yeah, that, that's that's kind of plans for the future, um, mm. regardless of whether of how long high jump mm. will go on for. But um, yeah, I've got that kind of career to kind of look forward yeah. to. Um, and yeah, what else? Not too sure. Just seeing Playing how it goes you. at the moment. Yep. But uh, yeah, getting, getting, I think I'll have a bit of fun in the future as well. I can certainly foresee me getting back into team mm. sports um, and uh, I don't know, doing things that I wouldn't have otherwise done mm. because I have to kind of be a bit protected yeah. with elite sport. Injury um, is not your friend, mm. like as I said before. Absolutely. Well, back so it's, it's, it's not a bit ideal. restrictive. So it would, it would be nice... Um, I think being able to have that freedom yeah. to do some of those things that I couldn't. 